everyone, it's Nicole, and we're here with uh, Let's Get Hip Fridays. This is the August kit, and this is the third layout I made using this kit. And I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to have a ton of stuff, but that's okay because now I only do one hip kit page a week. And I'm a few months behind. Uh, I still don't have my October kit, but I do have my September kit. And from now on, uh, starting October, I'm only going to be getting the main kit and maybe the embellishment kit, depending on how yummy it is. And um, so what I'm going to be doing is everything that I have leftovers from these couple of months, I'm just going to bring them forward because I'm not going to have a lot of stuff, you know, going forward. So I'll just gonna I'm gonna keep it in a container and use it eventually. So I'm gonna use as the background this pattern paper that came in the I think this came in the pa pattern paper add-on and it's crepe paper wonder and the back side is all three by four cut aparts but I really liked the B side I guess which is sort of a weirdish chevron you know it's sort of vanilla and black and then some halfway through or three quarters or one third through they change the chevron over it so then it looks like diamonds and I really like that I want to tone it down so I'm going to put some white gesso on it I have a big tub of gesso I think it's like a liter and it was really getting it's really heavy so I went to Michael's and I found these containers it's just empty so I bought it and um, I think it was like a couple of bucks, three bucks or something. And I put some gesso in it. So now I can, you know, use my palette knife, go right in. Or in this case, I'm using a makeup sponge. And I'm just putting some to the background. I'm going to dry it with my heat gun. And if you see the lights flickering, it's because it keeps blowing my power bar, which is super annoying. Um, if I ever get a chance to design my own craft room from scratch, lots of different plugins in my craft room so this doesn't happen <laughs> and you know like a row of electrical outlets or something um, on my desk or right off my desk that would be ideal wouldn't it so that you could plug in all the stuff that you need so anyway the gesso is now dried I want to take the dilutions paint that came in the color add-on and it is squeezed lemonade, I believe. And I'm gonna take a template that Kim Watson designed, and it's those lovely little triangles, and I'm gonna ink them all over the page. And like I said, from now on, I'm only gonna be getting the, um, the main kit, and so I won't be getting the color add-on anymore. So I know I'm gonna be missing out on some of the templates, but I think I got two months in a row that I got some of her templates, so I'll just be using them over and over again. And I got plenty in my stash anyway, so I'll be digging into my stash and using those. So I made those little triangles using the ink. Now, a couple of months ago, we got the Dilutions ink in the Squeeze Lemonade. And I'm going to take that out and I'm going to make some splatters using that just to add some more ink to the background. And then once that is dried, so while that dries up, um, just to let you know, today is Friday the 16th, and yesterday, October 15th, I released my first class. I can't tell you how excited I am. Exhausted, but excited. The last two days, my husband and I barely ate, slept, or, you know, anything, we just got the little nitty gritty stuff done and we got it ready for the release date of October 15th. So check that out. It's the video before this or check out my new website, which we launched on the same day, which is NicoleJones911.com. And um, I just want to thank those of you that have already signed up. I'm so excited. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot to me. So back to the class, or back to the layout. Um, I took the template and I took a a pen that I bought a few years ago, and it's from Scarlet Lime, and it's a shop online, and uh, it's pigment ink, 
in the pen. So it's great for mixed media. So what it's going to do is it's going to write over paint. So I outlined all you know, or a lot of the triangles and now this is where I'm going to add some splatters using the Dilutions ink. And, and I love that when the Dilutions ink dries it has this cool outline to each circle. It's so pigmented. It's so colorful. I love using that stuff. And I'm going to use my roll of paper towel to try to speed up the drying and also using my heat tool. And there goes my power bar again. And then once that is dry, then I'm going to be, am I going to do, yes, I'm going to add some Heidi Swap Color Shine in the black velvet just to bring in some black and I'm going to go through the process again with the paper towel and the heat tool and I'm going to dry that up. I just like to get the messy thing out of the way. Plus you can't start gluing anything down until that part's done anyway. So I wanted to get that done and I want to apologize for that for that page for whatever reason the power bar kept going off and off and off and off. So I don't know if my son had his air conditioning on too. It's possible. It's just one of those plug-in air conditioning. So um, we've had a few mild days, even though we're in October. So which is always nice. So now we're going to take, I'm going to take the black soot in the Distress ink and I'm going to ink all the edges. And of that pattern paper and that pattern paper is from Studio Calico 2 and it's that um, Amelia line I believe and the back side is pink with words and then this side is just a grid and I'm I'm gonna leave the branding strip on it and when it's a pretty branding strip like that I don't mind leaving it on it just adds more color I printed four pictures on my Canon selfie and it's from a day that we went to Montana's sometime over the summer. I believe it was in August. Yes, it was when we were on vacation. Uh, actually, when I was getting my class ready, uh, we took a, a Wednesday off and we had gone to a water park and then we went out for supper at Montana's which is our favorite restaurant of all time it's so good um, so I just printed four pictures I took a couple of pictures of our meal I took a picture of outside the restaurant and then a picture of Josh and Kate inside the restaurant and I love my Canon selfie I love that I can put four pictures on one and that way you get you know a, a lot of pictures on one layout but at the same time it's it's still manageable you know if you put four pictures on one layout there's not a lot of room for the pretty stuff <laughs> and yes the pages are about the pictures absolutely but we all love our pretty stuff right so I mounted the photo on some simple stories pattern paper which is a yellow grid which is the back side of that wood grain in yellow so I mounted it on the grid side first then I mounted it on some black cardstock and then I mounted it on a leftover Simple Stories um, wood grain paper. I'm inking all the edges and then I took a six by six pattern paper and that is from the Simple Stories line Summer Vibe which I pulled to use with this kit and I try to do that and especially now where I'm not going to get a lot of the add-ons I'm going to pull in a six by six pattern paper pad from my stash and I'm going to use it uh, with the kit so that I can I mean get more <laughs> I'm probably not going to kill the kits anymore but still I like to use smaller pattern papers because of course the six by six pattern paper the pattern on it is smaller so I like the tighter I guess patterns from on the six by six pattern papers. So I had those two hearts that came in the Crate Paper Wonder and they're felt and I want to staple them together. And my staple was with my September kit because I was getting my September kit all squared away so that when I'm done playing with this, I'm all ready. I have some page kits done. I'm always kind of working one kit ahead 
um, so that when I'm ready, I can just pick it up and go. Um, a lot of times I try to get some pages done in between, you know, shifts and stuff like that. So if everything's done and ready, then even a half hour, I can get a layout pretty much done. Now the layers are all, you know, the way I like them. So I'm going to glue everything down and my ETG gun was giving me some trouble. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because, and that's the good stuff, but I've had that for, I'd say four years, five years, that role of ATG. So I don't know if, you know, if there's something, you know, that it's old so that it's giving me a headache, but I'm trying to use the older stuff now. I, I was kind of not using the good stuff and only every like three or four rolls I was using the good stuff because I really liked it but now it's at the point where it's not working that great either so I'm trying to use up all the good stuff first and then I'll go back to my cheapo stuff. I took a few embellishments from the Crate Paper Wonder which is that camera and I mean I didn't know where I was going to use that deer head you know, you walk into Montana's and the commercials, it's with that deer and the moose. I guess that could be a moose head. The deer and the moose head with the commercials. So that was perfect for a Montana page. Actually, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, hey, we took pictures at Montana's when we were there in August. So I went digging through my phone, found them and printed them. And um, so in this case, the embellishment triggered the page that I was going to do. And then there was a little ampersand. There was a transparency that uh, was from Pink Fresh Studio and it said Merci on it. And I thought that was perfect because yes, we really appreciate the food there and we thank, always thank them so much because it's so good. <laughs> and um, then I thought I was going to use my big letters, the corrugated letters to write Montana's and it was just too big. So I'm going to put them back and then I'm going to go back to the pink fresh letter in the yellow and I'm just going to spell Montana's right under the camera. And then, so that's, and those letters are so cute. And if you take your time and you layer them one on top of the other, it really looks like a cursive, um, writing and then I'm going to take the puffy sticker that says uh, smile and I'm going to put that right above Montana's I'm going to take another puffy sticker that says hello I took that wood veneer from pink fresh that says good life and then I'm going to also take um, that arrow that is with the hearts I'm going to actually bring that down and I'm going to put it with the word um, just in front of the word smile and I'm going to add some enamel dots and those are also from the crate paper journey and that's going to complete this layout now this layout took me 54 minutes to complete so fairly quick and here are a close-ups of all the embellishment clusters and thank you so much for joining me today bye mm -hmm.